Welcome to the Shadow Marshal tutorial. As a Shadow Marshal, you are given a set of mission objectives. How you choose to complete the mission is up to you. When you want to check your mission objectives, hold down the up button on the D-pad to show an overview. A simple tap of the up button will show markers indicating the location of your mission objectives, as well as a short description. The order in which you complete the mission objectives is up to you. The Shadow Marshal has been equipped to deal with anything and everything, as there is no telling what obstacles might be encountered during a mission. The key to survival is a thorough understanding of the mission environment, as this will help the Shadow Marshal plan his actions accordingly. In order to survey the battlefield, it is recommended you use your Tactical Echo ability often. The Tactical Echo ability is triggered by holding down the right button on the D-pad. This will send a sonar-like pulse through the environment that will increase in range as you hold down the right button. Holding the right button too long will result in alerting nearby enemies to your presence. By using the Tactical Echo ability effectively, you can see your enemies through walls and other obstacles. And if you move your reticule over an enemy, it will provide you with additional details of their strengths and weaknesses. The Shadow Marshal is equipped with a multifunctional flying attack drone, nicknamed the Owl. The Owl provides a variety of tactical options and is completely under the command of the Shadow Marshal. To give the Owl an order, point at an appropriate target within range and tap the L1 shoulder button. Please note that you can only do this when the Owl is available for use, as indicated by the Owl mode icon on your HUD. The Owl can be set to different modes. Switching between modes is accomplished by swiping in different directions on the touchpad. Swipe right for zipline mode, swipe down for shield mode, swipe left for stun mode, and swipe up for attack mode. When you tap the L1 shoulder button, the owl detaches from your back and flies to the location you pointed at. The current status of the owl is displayed on your HUD. Here you can read its energy levels, damage status, and current assignment. You can always command your owl to return to you by holding down the L1 shoulder button. Between the flexible order of the mission objectives, the tactical echo ability, and the owl attack drone, the Shadow Marshal has a wide range of attack options, as well as the ability to get in and out of dangerous situations quickly. The latter can be accomplished by using the Owl's zipline mode. To instruct the Owl to create a zipline, you first need to activate zipline mode by swiping right on the touchpad. Point at a lower area you wish to travel to and check to see if the zipline mode icon lights up on your HUD. Tap the L1 shoulder button to let the owl create the zipline. You will automatically mount it and begin traveling down. Please note you can still aim and shoot while traveling on the zipline. You can dismount at any time by tapping the circle button. By making smart use of the owl's attack mode, the Shadow Marshal can engage the enemy in many different ways. The owl can be commanded to defend a tactically useful location, guard the Shadow Marshal, help attack a group of enemies, or distract them while the Shadow Marshal executes a flanking maneuver. To command the owl to attack enemy targets, you must first activate attack mode by swiping up on the touchpad. Point at the area where your enemies are located and check to see if the attack mode icon lights up. If it does, tap the L1 shoulder button to send the owl to defend that area and attack any nearby enemies. You can order the L to attack a specific enemy by moving your reticule over the target and tapping the L1 shoulder button. The owl will attack this enemy with the highest priority and only attack other enemies when the initial target is neutralized. The owl packs a punch, but it cannot take on more than one or two enemies by itself. If it gets damaged, it will return to you and attach to your back to recharge. The owl cannot be used while it is recharging. The Shadow Marshal can also deal with groups of enemies by using the Owl's Stun Mode. In this mode, the Owl fires Stun Blasts that will temporarily disable enemies as well as electronic devices such as turrets, cameras, shields, and automata. To instruct the Owl to stun a target, you need to activate Stun Mode first by swiping left on the touchpad. 
Point at the area where your target is located and tap the L1 shoulder button to send the owl over and fire a stun blast. The stun blast has a limited range, so aim carefully. The effect of the stun blast lasts for three to five seconds, giving you an opportunity to take the enemy down without any resistance. Firing a stun blast costs the owl all of its energy. It will need to fully recharge after each stun blast. The more cautious Shadow Marshal can direct the owl to deploy a nano shield using the owl's shield mode. The nano shield will protect the Shadow Marshal against all forms of enemy fire while allowing projectiles from the Shadow Marshal's own weapon through. To command the owl to place a nano shield, you first need to activate shield mode by swiping down on the touchpad. Like all other owl abilities, you can only give a successful command when the corresponding mode icon lights up. In this case, the nano shield needs approximately three feet of open space in front of the shadow marshal to deploy. The owl and the nano shield will gradually take damage until the nano shield collapses. Once damaged, the owl takes time to recharge before it can perform another action. The shadow marshal can use the owl to hack different objects like alarm poles, computers, and even specific enemy types. To command the owl to hack a target, simply move your reticule over it. If the target is hackable, the owl will start hacking almost instantly. Any mode the owl was previously in will automatically be overridden by the hacking process. The owl status HUD indicates the progress of the hacking process. The Shadow Marshal's health will automatically regenerate when not taking damage. However, if the Shadow Marshal receives a lot of damage, he can regain full health instantly by utilizing an adrenaline pack. When you take a lot of damage, tap left on the D-pad to activate an adrenaline pack. Once an adrenaline pack is active, you enter adrenaline mode for six seconds. During this time, you can move in slow motion by aiming down the sights of your rifle. There are many adrenaline packs hidden in the environments of Killzone Shadowfall but you can only carry a maximum of two at a time. When you become mortally wounded, you can no longer move or shoot. Your owl will automatically detach from your back and defend you as much as it can. If you have an adrenaline pack, you can tap the L1 shoulder button to be revived. After a successful revive attempt, you will have full health again and automatically enter the six second adrenaline mode. With clever tactics, a willingness to improvise, and skill, a Shadow Marshal can overcome any odds. The enemies provide a wide variety of problems and come in many forms, from large groups of security forces to powerful shielded enemies. The Shadow Marshal is equipped with the latest in rifle technology, a nearly recoilless railgun that has two different firing modes. In its regular mode, it functions as a submachine gun. In this mode, it is nearly silent, but needs well-placed shots to take out any enemy. By pressing down on the D-pad, the secondary fire mode of this weapon is activated. The rifle will extend and function as a charge-up sniper rifle with a powerful blast that can even take out electronics or shields. In extended mode, it uses more ammunition, and careful management is required. This concludes the Shadow Marshal tutorial. Good luck.